why not Trilisium and welcome back to Dyson Sphere program where I've made a couple of changes and updates to the uh, factory since last time. I've increased our research area. We've now got three threes of research lab rather than just the one tower. We've now got three of them and I've doubled our fractionation area just making it a little bit quicker to fractionate since the hydrogen is going to be very useful. Um... Also, I do realize that this splitter here that I used last episode totally didn't need to be a fancy splitter. I don't know why I did this. I guess I was just really, like, happy to use the new fancy splitter. But uh, this could have been done on one level. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, today I want to do a new technology we're researching right now. Magnetic levitation technology. And this gets us EM turbines, which are necessary for belt mark twos. They use belts to make belts, but they use EM turbines involved to basically upgrade them. So we're going to queue that up afterwards. But those belts are going to help out because right here you'll see that we have a kind of issue in that we're slowing down going into here. And this is freezing the entire fractionation area. That is basically bound by how fast we can move stuff into storage. And like we could deal with that by making like parallel storages rather than a series storage where they go into multiple at the same time as opposed to going through one through one through one but we should honestly get a move on so what we're going to do today is we're going to automate the production of em turbines and that way we'll have a stock of them because we'll also want them later on in the game i also realized by the way that i can stack these vertically and we just found out hmm. thing there we go there's our em turbines so to make em turbines we need two electro uh electric motors and two magnetic coils obviously electric motors use a magnetic coil two iron two gear and the magnetic coil uses copper and magnets which i don't know why but you smelt magnets directly from ore that's the thing so we're gonna set up a production area for this now i was working out the ratios and then i completely realized that i would have to rework my ratios because of in instead of being produced at one time speed they're actually produced by machines at 0.75 times speed so i had to completely redo my calculations however to produce 0.75 turbines per second i was going to produce one but if we reduce it to the speed of the assemblers to produce 0.75 we will need two of these making EM turbines, four of these making electric motors, two of these making gears, two of these making coils, and a whole load of smelters and a lot of iron. In fact, we need so much iron, we're going to need two belts of it. Well, technically one belt and a quarter, but whatever. You can't just have a quarter belt. That's not a thing. So we are going to look through our inventory we've got belts we've got sorters we've got uh i think everything we'll need more smelters so we're actually going to go grab some wood here i don't know why i said wood stone obviously there we go grab some stone make ourselves some more smelters and we'll probably want quite a lot so i'm actually just going to build like 20 Oh, I'm actually making PCBs. We should just grab some PCBs rather than, like, making them. That seems really inefficient. And then we'll probably want gears as well. Also, I just noticed I have refined fuel just sitting in my inventory. That's fine. Okay, and there we go. We got the upgraded belts. Uh, we should just dump this in my dump chest. Also dump the coal and the stone ore. And this one circuit board is just sitting here. Oh, whatever. Okay, we also then need to make ourselves a whole load of the assembly machines. Which need iron. We do have some iron, but we need more as well. So, we'll also grab some of that. Hmm. At some point, we do need to just make iron that goes into storage because we use quite a lot of it. Uh, let's make ourselves like a good... Maybe 16. Oh, we're making more gears. Let's not do that. Let's just pull them from storage. Like, that's the point of this. There we go. 
that was six. Okay, so we've got belts. We'll need miners because we're going to need a whole load of these, actually, like quite a lot. Um, let's make 20. And then if we've got power. Yes, but I would like to make some wireless power transmission towers because we might be going quite far. Okay. And that should be enough. Also, before we go, there's one thing I want to adjust, and that is this. Currently, we do have a slight increase of graphite. And by slight increase, I mean, you know, it's slowing down here and whatever. But it would be useful if we could take spare graphite and store it. Because honestly, right now, this sushi belt, we've got a little bit of excess. We do have stuff coming back around. And this is being slowed down from adding because it's already hitting things that are on the, the actual like sushi belt so we can add effectively like a stacker system which will store any spares um we'll probably want to put it like here ish well, let's do the actual thing first There we go. One, two. Oh, we can only go to two with these. Really? Oh, very well. I thought we could go higher. Uh, okay. Then we will put in logistics. And effectively, we just want to be able to grab pretty fast so we'll put three grabbers there and then we'll just put one exit so those are going to grab at 0.75 each because they're going two tiles so they'll do 2.25 and that will output a 1.25 so it's actually going to accumulate if the belt was full we'd actually accumulate graphite even though it's trying to output and then when it's full it won't take any more in so effectively this will be a buffer and it'll store extra fuel until we have a crisis at which point it'll start outputting fuel because none will be coming this way because we'll have a crisis. So, in theory, it should just effectively be a good way to dump fuel. Um, it might not provide enough fuel in a crisis. That's the only issue we might run into. And if that's the case, well... Obviously, we could do things by using higher mark sorters. Like, mark twos are quite easy for us to make. Either way, we need to figure out where we're going to be placing this uh, setup down. Now, this setup doesn't need any sort of stone. Obviously, it doesn't need coal. It just needs iron ore and copper ore. It doesn't actually need a lot of copper. It needs like a quarter or a third of a belt or something. So, we're going to quickly zip around. Um, we have got a load of production up here anyway. There's not a lot of land. And copper's over here, so we'd have to run over to there or something. Uh, you might notice, by the way, that I've flattened a lot of the world, and that was to grab soil. So I have enough soil that we could potentially just flatten anywhere right now. Um, where's more? Stone? No. Stone? Ugh. Copper? Coal? Iron there? That's not very much. I think our best bet might actually be here. And then we can import from the copper here. A little bit further away. What we might do is just try and, like, pave over this. We can use this iron. Okay, let's go south. Do -do Ooh, one thing we should do before we go is check the mech. Uh, we've got enough graphite. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a detour. Oop. Grab more foundations. And that's iron, that's iron, and that's copper. Yeah, they're not too far away. All right, let's get out our foundation tool and... Just completely destroy the environment. 
There we go. We'll flatten that as well. That'll give us a bit of soil. Uh, oh, definitely need to get rid of this. This is going to look kind of weird otherwise. Uh, I've still got loads left. This is what I get for automating foundation production. This is great. I'm sure the local wildlife probably disagree with that assessment, though. What are you doing to my home? Why is it weirdly grey? You haven't even finished filling it in. It looks like a mess. How could you do that? That sort of thing. You know, I'm sure they're very upset. Uh, right. Okay. How much do we need? We need 7.5 iron ore. A second. That means two belts. So, obviously, you can get six on a belt. So, it's going to be six and a quarter belts. Uh, each iron ore node is half an ore per second. So, it's two, it's one ore every two seconds. So, we need six nodes times two to fill a belt. The six nodes will give you three. So, if we go to our miners... So we can hold shift to do this, which I completely forget. Uh, that's six. We could go for more, obviously, but I'm just going to go for six because this will make it easier on us to calculate. Or hit the wrong button. You know, that too. Um, another miner. Uh, that is... Seven. Okay, six, seven. That gives us 13. 13 divided by uh, two, 6.5. Okay, so we need effectively like a four. Oh, you know, if we get more, that's also kind of fine, in all honesty. There isn't any problem with getting more. That's there. Yeah. Now we're just going to need to set this up so it goes to two belts and it will feed the belts and distribute it evenly. Um, this is something that I've kind of got a bit used to. So I think we'll be okay with this. What we'll do is we'll go north from here. And the best way to do this is by setting up a sorter that takes half out. And we'll give it a bit more room just so we can expand later on. Go into there. Um, oop. We'll leave that as room. There. And... To there. Okay, so neither of these are going to be fully filling the belt. But this one can then split to join those belts. And that should mean we fill both belts. Or, well, if not fill the belts, because I don't know how much we've got. We've got more than we need. Um, I wish you could click on a machine and see how much it was giving. Covers 10 veins. Oh, okay, you can. Eight veins, six veins. Wait, let me do that calculation again. Ten, eight, and six. Is that 24? It is. Huh. That gives us exactly two belts. Because 24 nodes is 12 per second. So we have exactly two belts. This is actually going to give us room for expansion here. Plenty of room, because we only need 7.5, and this is giving us 12. So, you know... Maybe we'll just leave room for an upgrade. Anyway. Uh, right. That's the first part. Let's go set up copper. We'll just do all the basics to begin with. Um, this 10. Sure. Now, we don't actually need that much copper. We need 1.5. Not 7.5. 1.5 means we need three nodes covered. Like, one mine will be plenty for this, so... Maybe we even just take advantage of the seven. 
Let's put in a one here. Cover the six. Can we get? Think we can get seven. I don't think we can get the seventh. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we'll run it. Um, probably just north. Past the stone. And I'm deliberately not going to turn these on yet. I'm not going to power these. I'm going to power them last because I want to see the flow of things through so we can see if we can troubleshoot it. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay. So that's stage one. Get all the ore. The next stage is making stuff. So, uh, obviously, we're going to need to make magnets and we're going to need to make iron blocks. And then we're going to need to make a whole load of stuff from that. But that's the first two smeltery jobs. We're also going to need to make uh, copper ingots. So, honestly, copper ingots is a really easy one because we already know that that's the only thing copper makes. Like, we only smelt copper into copper ingots. So, we could even do that on site. I'm gonna try and not do that on site. I'm gonna try and do all the like production, including the smelting here. But it is tempting. Um, now this is only gonna need one and a half smelters, so I'm gonna put two down. Obviously, you can't put down half a smelter, like you know, dirt. But if we go for, um. Let's we do the iron first. Oh, the iron's much more complicated. Because the iron needs 4.5 smelters for iron and 4.5 smelters for magnets. Yeah. Well, fine. We'll do that now. That's going to be five on each side. Sure. Um, do we want to, like, bring them in so they're running parallel? Well, they're already running parallel. So they're running next to each other. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Okay, go on then. Let's make this a little bit less like that and a bit more elegant. More refined thing for a more elegant thing. I'm trying to get... Mate, you got a sticky bit... Ugh. Mate! There we go. I'm going to give a little bit of space in case we actually want to use that output. And then... Oop. Right. Go up from here. Go up from here. We'll put down five smelters on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll probably want to do the offset again. Um, You know what? I know it's going to look more annoying to offset it, and we don't need to. But it's probably good practice to leave an offset in case you ever want to do anything weird in the future. Because that means that you can cover with sorters, like, gaps. So this covers the gap between these two. I know it looks slightly weird, but it's it's probably better practice, right? that down there. Okay. Five on each side. That makes uh, if I recall correctly magnets. Yeah, magnets take 1.5. So although we've got five of them, they're producing less. So 4.5 produces three. So obviously we've got more than 4.5. We've got five. So they'll produce three per second. The other side, they're going to be producing Five, so they produce five. We needed 4.5. Obviously, we can't get that. They produce every second, so that's good. That'll be two belts. Uh, they can go to the applicable places. I'm sure that will be fine. Um, doop. Uh, I could try and, like, compactify this, but we've got so much land now with the foundations that I'm actually not going to bother... 
because I might end up just tripping myself over. And anytime we update this in the future, I'd like to have the ability to do that. That said, if we expand this way, we probably don't want to like cross anything up here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just completely undo exactly what I just said. Yeah, I know. I'm a terrible person. I get it. I wish you could reverse belts. I don't think there is a way. It's something I would like on the list, and it's probably something they'll actually implement. Obviously, early access. It is what it is. And what it is is quite amazing, especially for an early access game. I really like this game. It's, it's, I would say it's more polished than Factorio in some ways. Obviously, Factorio is a finished product, and it's got a lot more features, but yeah. There are definitely things in this that I'm like, yeah, this is a lot more fancy. Obviously, new worlds, spheres, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Obviously, Factorio's got a load of stuff. This doesn't. Like, Factorio's a finished game. It has more features. Um, controversial, I know. Obviously, this is like copying a lot of Factorio's playbook. Stuff that Factorio did first. Blah, blah, blah. I know. Uh, still, I think the Dyson Swarm, uh, Dyson Sphere program is, is a very impressive game. Uh, right. Now, this allows us to keep expanding this. Like, we can keep expanding this over and over and over. We leave that area blank. We'll need to run this belt across. So this needs to come out and then go up. Um, and then... Sneeze. <laughs> and then we sneeze. Uh, right. We'll probably want to come across to here. And then bring that down. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Ugh, right. Okay, so one of these is going to be magnets. One of these is going to be iron. Okay. Magnets. You, I think, entirely go in production of coils, right? Yeah. So, to produce three of these per second, we need one and a half, I think. Uh, factory thing in my bobs. And they also need copper. So, we'll get to the copper in a second. We'll also need to make gears out of our iron. Um, and we'll also need to make anything else that iron goes into. Is there anything else, or is that just it? Because that is... Uh, it, right, iron. You need iron for the plain electric motors. Okay, so... If we now run the iron directly back this way or something, leaving a gap so we can keep expanding. So... We run iron across here. Obviously, we need to make 1.5 gears, which means uh, we need to make two factories just making gears, or what they're called fabricators, assembly machines. Oh, really? Uh, we're getting to that stage where we're so close to the belt. That's annoying. Okay, for looks, I'm going to shift this one over as well. I'm very aware that I shouldn't run my production north to south. I should run it east to west. That way you don't get this issue. I know. Also, I don't know. There's a difference between knowing something and knowing something. Uh, right, these are going to take in and output cogs. Then we'll also want ones that are going to then do the motors. Okay. Motors need cogs. So we'll just be feeding the cogs back in. So I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'm going to say, let's put in 
cogs here running parallel. This is the electric motors. Ah, no! What are you doing? Ugh. That makes me very sad to look at. Well, this might not be expandable. Uh, right, and then this is producing electric motors. We need four of these. Oh, well, that's going to be annoying. Uh, huh. One, two, three, four. Right, let's see how this goes. Can we snake like that? Alright, if we delete that one, maybe. Probably not. No. Uh, this is what I get for building north to south. That is just going to have to do. Whatever. Okay. Uh, two of these are making gears, dumping the gears on here. The rest of the iron goes past, the rest of the gears go past, and then on the other side, we need... Wrong one. Magnets. And then we need spare magnets to feed into electric motors. You know, this might actually work pretty well. Because we'll have magnets going up here. Right, right, we got this. Okay. I think I've got a cunning plan. So... This is going to be magnets. And it only needs to go up two. And then we need to make one that's going to be motors. So actually, let's shorten this. Maybe make it... Ah, wrong one. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm losing track of this now. Uh, we need copper and we need magnets to make the coil. The coil then needs to get fed in to the EM levitation, but also needs to be fed into the issue. Electric motors, yeah. So we do need electric motors to get those. That's why this is actually going to be surprisingly easy. Because we feed the coils in there. And then we let them dump the finished turbines on that. The gears, sorry, the magnets, not the coil, don't need to match. They don't need to go up further. So we can actually run this kind of setup. Provided we're putting the magnets down in the right area. So, right, this is going to be magnets. Copper will be on this side. We dump the finished uh, uh, electric motors here. Wait. Here? Sorry, the... the uh, I'm having trouble with words. This is getting complicated. Okay. Electric motors are going here. Blah, blah, blah. Great. They come out. That's fantastic. With this, we put magnets up to here. They get taken in. We put copper over here. That comes out as magnetic coils, which go all the way across here, which can get taken in by this, and we can run them further. And then this dumps the finished turbines on here. What are they called? Not turbines. Uh, EM motors. Alright, so EM motors are here. Coils are here. Coils travel through. Because coils are used in here and in the next stage. And then this should just be what we need. Right, this does work. It's just, I'm making it more complicated in my head. I don't know if you can see it from my explanation because my explanation was trash. Yep, that doesn't work. 
running north to south is an issue. Okay. And then we need to do a uh, copper run. Now, that does mean we need to smelt the copper beforehand. So, like, this can't be copper. We need to smelt the copper en route. Uh, yeah, we'll smelt the copper over there. That's not a problem. I know I said I wouldn't do that. But I lied. We might need to use the um, conveyor thingy my bobs. What they called? Conveyor thingy my bobs. The sorters. We might need to use them as Mark II to be able to get in these guys fast enough because it's quite a long distance. In fact, I wonder if they can. Yeah, they can. Okay. And then we run proper in a U, probably. So, doop, ah, shoo. Doop, 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 doop. And then we only need uh, two smelters for this. So let's grab ourselves some smelters. One, two. And they're going to be smelting copper. That's easy enough. You're going to be smelting iron. And again, that's going to be easy enough. And you're going to be smelting, for some reason, magnets. Okay. You're going to be making magnetic coils. And then same for you. You're going to be making gears. And then you're going to be making EM motors out of those gears. Right. Iron goes through. Gears go to here. Electromagnet. Uh, el electric coils. I keep wanting to call them magnets. And like magnets is a different thing. These are electromagnets or magnetic coils. They go to here. And then finished motors go to here. Okay. Great. Uh, now... This is three trips per grid. And obviously a lot of these are two. So I'm just going to go ham with these rather than bothering to work it out exactly. So that's gear in. That's gear out. And I'm going to make sure we double up on gear out because it's longer distance. Gear out. Gear out. In. Um, in. 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 In, in, and in. And then... Uh, iron is... Uh, what's it? Magnets. Mag magnets are coming over here. Right. Uh, we'll go... Uh, in is first, so that's two in. Followed by one out. Two in... Followed by one out. And then that's in. In. And then over here. How fast do we need to put these stuff in? Uh, iron's the only big issue. Okay. We'll see if it slows down. We need to take in both electromagnets we need to put out here. So... In, out, in, out, in, out, out, in, out. Okay, and that should work as is. But that will only get us motors and some spare electromagnets, which obviously we're just going to combine again. So... Because we want to leave this expandable, we don't want to put it here. And I don't want to 
truncate that too much. What we'll do is we'll take a dog leg to the side. I know we've been making it vertical until now, and then this is going to kind of break that, but whatever. Um, we will go one, two, and then dog leg. We don't need to dog leg that far. Like, it's only two of these guys. And then one, two. Oh, look at that fit. Right next to each other. That's what, you happen what happens when you don't go north-south. Uh, and then we want to take in, take in, output on the other side. We'll save ourselves a little bit of track here. Also because it looks horrific. Click and hold to delete does work sometimes, but it can be annoying sometimes. It's uh, just very weird. Uh, right, and then we'll just run this to probably storage chest for now. So we'll do that, and then we'll just put down a storage chest. Okay. And then this should be exactly one mark, one sorter. Let's look at this. Uh, we need one per second of both of those. So crack out the mark two. That should work. And we'll make that turbine. Okay, let's start doing the power thing. Doing the power thing. Kind of like an important job. Just all reduced in my mind to the power thing. Right. And I don't hook up to the grid. Not until everything's like ready to go. Um, What's the best place for these? One there. And then one... You know what? Let's just be, like, kind of plentiful with them. Space isn't too much of an issue. Then we need to get the mines. And they called it a mine. I don't know why he's cockney now, but he is. Uh, and then we'll take the power all this way. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And that should be in range. There we go. Oh, there is one thing over here that isn't powered. Ah, just got away with it. Done. Okay. Uh, easiest place to get power from is over here. However, I'm going to use our fancy wireless transmission tower. Because that will save us having to go all the way. And we are now on. Uh, the main issue when we start up is going to be copper. Because that's going to get a lot further to actually get processed. But look at that. As this builds up, it's going to fill the other belt. Because it's perfectly stacking. Nice. Uh, oh, I never put any inputs or outputs on the mines, did I? Well, that was a derp. Um, and there we go. Now, we should see whatever happens. Kind of a lot of belts backing up because we're producing excess material because the ratios don't work perfectly. But we are seeing finished motors come out. Now, in theory, I think... This uses exactly two factories worth if we're running at full capacity. So the fact, you know, this is running idle is a little bit weird. And there's definitely cog issues there. And then you're not getting magnets enough. Uh, maybe you're getting exactly the right amount of magnets. Yeah, because you can see it as that ticks over. Oh, no, we are just about getting enough electric motors. Look at that. That's actually exactly on. It just flicks for like a frame.
yeah, the ratio is perfect. Um, what we will do is I'm deliberately going to stall the system temporarily so everything backs up. And then by doing that, we can see if anything starts to drain because nothing should drain and go to zero if everything backs up. Okay, and basically everything is backed up except for a few of the mines. Obviously, the mines can have like a hundred stacks of some of these things. Like ingots can stack to a hundred, so that's going to take them a while to back up. We already know that the mines are like way over capacity anyway in terms of what we need, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and it looks like that's all good. So when we then remove that restriction. This will drain down because this is going to be inputting at the same, uh, a faster rate than that can output. And then when it hits this one. They should start outputting their inventory. Which they are. And then we should see this stick around at 1010, which it is. And then after running for a bit, the belt will not clear. Well, the engines are clearing, though. Hmm. Interesting. I guess they should maybe be full here after the last one. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it will be okay. It's slowly adding. Yep, it looks like this engine machine is holding. Looks like these are holding. I would call it a success. And we're making a whole load of turbines. In fact, a lot more, a lot faster than I planned. Uh, potentially opening up the gate for automated track production. So we can have conveyor belts just being made, which would be amazing. Uh, also, sorters of my PCBs, they use electromotors. At some point, we maybe should just automate it. electromotors. I know we kind of have here, but only in production of this. Um, and yeah, if we did that, then we could make sorters automatic. For now, we just kind of made conveyor belts automatic, and that's fine. That's the most important one. So, what we can do is we can grab a stack. And then we can upgrade a load of our existing belts. And then using this newfound knowledge. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, how's that power system, by the way? Uh, yeah, we're okay. Probably because we're not researching right now. Well, speaking of which... Let's research vertical construction. Vein utilization. Faster mining speed. Reduced ore consumption. Okay. And we'll also want to grab... More drones. Um... Okay. Oh, well, mechanical frames requires a load of electric motors just to go faster. You know, we'll do that. And then we'll do the second one. We'll need to make those ourselves, though. And then the third one. Okay. Uh, to make electro motors, we'll need to have magnets. And, you know, I've just been doing this. And I can't remember why I forgot. Uh, gear, magnet. So, I need 60 gear, 60 magnet. And 120 iron. Well, iron's easy. And then 60 magnet. Well, we'll take... You know, I actually got loads on me. Don't need to worry about that. Gear. Yeah, we'll grab a little bit more gear. Okay. And then... Just pocket craft. Unlock the vertical construction technology. 
When building facilities such as Matrix Lab, Storage, okay. and Storage Tank, you can try to build them vertically to make more efficient... Yes, resources. yes we can. That applies to our research as well. So, the whole problem that we came here to solve is this. We need to make this go faster because currently we're kind of being blocked. Yes, this belt is full and it will result in this belt being full, which is fine. But then this belt being added will just slow it down. In theory, we'd place this entire belt at least to about here just so that it feeds through faster. We could do that. Um, we have enough belts now. But the most important one is going to be this. And in fact, I'm going to replace this as well because this is dumb. I don't know why I did it that way. Uh, I'll also probably want to replace them going through the tanks. Because if we feed them the first tank very fast and then slow out into the second tank, it's not going to work particularly well. And it's actually really hard to get to these without removing the tanks. So luckily, I'm just going to remove the tank here. Not remove this tank, because this actually has stuff in it. There we go. Um, and then... That doesn't need to go up anymore, either. All right, great. Right. Sorter. There, and then there, and using faster belts, we will have it come out, and I'm not going to bother with making more tanks for now. I'm actually just going to stack the existing tanks on top, because that's the thing we can do. There we go. And we'll leave the space here so that if we want to in future, we can add more. It's just by doing this, it makes it really hard to actually get to, like, look at this. Like, you can just about. And even when I've done that before, it's really hard to place it again because it complains at you. So I'm not going not to put any more down for now. And look at that. It's going nice and fast. Obviously, it doesn't really make a huge difference. We'll also probably want to replace uh, this run as well out. Uh, oop. And then we might as well replace this entire section as well. Now, this belt is double speed. So instead of being six items per second, it's 12. Which is a very nice upgrade. And then logistics, belt. Uh, whoops, not the higher height. There we go. Lovely. And the question is, do we want to replace a lot of this belt? Because if we replace... Uh, extra construction, no, thank you. Uh, if we replace a lot of this belt, we can feed hydrogen much faster. Because this belt is still going to slow us down a bit. Um, I think we'll do that with the outputs for now. That might be a good idea. So, to begin with, we'll actually just do that. Because that'll help just empty this belt. So I won't be interrupting a lot of stuff. And then about halfway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So about halfway, we're going to upgrade the belt. And there's madness to my method. And that's because, well, it's double speed. If we're putting stuff onto it, the belt has a certain amount of throughput. Halfway, we double it so that it can take the next half as well. That'll increase the amount of space effectively on the belt. Um, just kind of waiting for this to clear. There we go. And I don't need to replace the feeder belts in the middle. Because obviously they're going much slower because they've only got input from two. Uh, this one needs to empty. There we go. Uh, there. And then we can replace the input. You know what? I'm going to start replacing the input now. 
because they're still waiting for that hydrogen belt to drain. Uh, I might as well take the sorters out. And obviously, again, they don't need to get replaced all the way. Just to halfway, so... We move faster, thanks to pocket crafting a whole bunch of motors. I'm doing click and drag. I'm being very careful not to drag over anything too important. There we go. Faster. And then all the way up here to there. I think we're going to just have enough to do this entire changeover without issue. Uh, unless I accidentally delete like a big facility or something. Actually, that was already a fancy belt. Okay, go all the way down here. Grab the end of this and drag it out. Yeah, now look at that. It's actually working. Uh, we'll need, obviously, the extra sorters to go in. Three, four... Ah, five, six. And then the output is going well. It speeds up here. Ah, we do need to reconnect these ones. Okay. So they aren't automatically going to feed in until we upgrade them. Uh, luckily, we've got 19 left. And then... It still looks like it's saturated. Even, even with that amount of throughput increased, it's still saturated. Not particularly a huge problem. But wow. Okay. That is impressive. Although, look at how much, like, how quickly that's going. Hydrogen tank is filling up. Okay. Yeah, that's actually filling up pretty decently. Um, And we might want to just upgrade this tank as well. Get a load more of those. Oop. Oop. We stack them again. No, we need another tech for that. I think we can actually get more research labs. One, two, three. Yes, we can. Obviously, this is going to result in uh, potentially needing faster sorters or something to actually inject. But it also means we can upgrade the ones down here, which, again, might need faster sorters to inject. We're not really rated for that. But if that is the case, I'll just fix it between episodes or something. That's fine. Um. Oh, you know what? I could just say sod it. Got plenty of these Mark IIs. And no, they aren't too pricey. Although they do involve me... Ah, no, 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 no. They do involve me pocket crafting electric motors, which, you know, I really shouldn't be doing that. Beneath us. Um, probably don't need that. Okay, now the question is at the top. Do we have full stuff? Yes. We do have an insufficient power supply, though. So power is a little bit of an issue. However, now this is running faster. We're actually getting more graphite again. Which means more graphite is getting sent down to our power facility. Because it's the overflow. And that means... 
Ooh, look at that. We're actually getting these with no power. That's why we're having power issues. It's because I took that offline for a while, so it stopped the flow of graphite. And unfortunately, we drained the storage box. That's why we didn't have an instant problem. Because I took that offline, and that's providing extra graphite. We didn't get the graphite. A lot of the generators went offline because the generators went offline. We're not having enough power to run those, so we're getting less graphite. However, I think we're getting enough graphite. Mm, no, probably not. Okay, easiest way to sort this would be manually dumping some of our graphite in to kind of kickstart the system. So I'm going to place 100 graphite there. And then I'm deliberately just going to put graphite in a load of these generators to kind of give them a boost. I don't want to put too much graphite in, though. Because obviously we need some for our motor. Okay, and that should get everything running full capacity. Should get us a little bit more graphite sent over. Yeah, you can see now we're getting enough graphite. It's starting to push through. And yep, that is graphite that's coming back around. Lovely. Okay. Of course, at some stage, we'll need our own graphite. Just saying. Uh, hey there. Yeah, you've been piling up. Just a little bit. We'll refill on that. Although, it doesn't actually give us quite enough. We really should just make someone that just stores graphite. Just a one place that just makes a little chest. Hell, we could even just dump it into this chest as like a, an extra to buffer on the overflow or something. And then we could pull from this chest ourselves. Or, you know, we could just pull from this chest ourselves right now. But obviously it's not because it's still gaining. But whatever. Uh, right. That looks okay. My only concern is we aren't getting any flowing around at the moment. But that's going to even out. Like, the travel time of the graphite from up there is a big factor in how the power surge happens. Because... It's going to take graphite, what, like a minute or two to get from there to here. So we've got to make sure that we're consistently flowing. We've just dumped the stuff that we used, and that's now complaining. Well, I'm hoping the graphite on route will help. Ugh. Or I add like an extra mine, and then we do something fancy. I don't know. Like, this is plenty of coal. If anything, this is too much coal. We're filling that belt up. If we're filling that belt up, we should be okay. Yep, there is a little bit getting past. I guess it's because, like, this can be full, but it's only just going to make it round with the help of this. Yeah, we are getting some coming round now. I think this is just going to even out. But between episodes, I might just make this a little bit more rigid and more reliable. Currently, it, it doesn't really meet that criteria. Part of what we could do is we could just upgrade the belt system. Faster belt means it higher throughput. More stuff on the belt. Means we can actually have this go further because we're backing up right now. This is backing up. Uh, it's only backing up a little bit. It's this last furnace. Everything else is still running. It's the one furnace on the end. So it's backing up a tiny bit. But that also means we could then extend this further because we're actually having coal backing up as well. And that is not good. Um, if coal's backing up, we've got bigger problems. But it looks like it is evening out. Despite, you know, my doom and gloom predictions. So, for now, I've been Aerialist. I'm going to call it here. If you want to go check out the Discord, there's a link tree down below with a link. And uh, you can go there. Go to the announcement channel. All my videos and streams will get posted. If you want to take your chance to YouTube, you can subscribe and use any of the three bell icon flavors you fancy. Ooh, glowing path. Um, and if you want to like or comment, that really helps the algorithm because you've got to pray to the algorithm gods. Until next time, though, I've been Aerialist. And stay shiny. Ooh. Thanks. That was completely necessary. <laughs>